got me all you got me all stoked for that. You're always just teasing me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, well, welcome to another episode of Takeout. And today we got Ryan Chang. Ching. Ching. Fuck bro, my I'll bad, bro. Edit that. <laughs> <laughs> the owner of Rise Poke Shack. And today we got a bunch of different pokes for you to try. Yeah, one of them looks fucking gross. Which one do you look gross? This one? Mm. All right. So two of them, two places, we got two different ones. We went to four different places, all supermarkets. So you don't have to worry about, you know, hurting anyone's feelings and shit, <laughs> you know? So let's see. I mean, we can just try them out, okay. see what you think it is. I mean, see how it is first. Which one do you want to go first then? The, this one. The, the gross one. one. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Save the best This one us. looks fucking gross, bro. What the fuck? Hey, they should get a close-up on this thing. Bro, what the fuck? So if I do a close-up, just go like that? Or just go like that? Okay. Like, this looks fucking... Well, just how they cut them, too, you know? It's like just old fish. Oh, there's kukui nut, yeah. You got all, this one's limu, it's supposed to be limu and kukui nut. Or they're all, I think they're all limu. All limu? Yeah, because I never, this, this one's my limu, yeah. I don't know, yeah. Let me try to do limu or whatever, show you whatever. Well, this one's not really seasoned or anything. When you, you do the limu, you probably want to give it a little more seasoning, yeah. Oh. Uh, it's coagulated, yeah. It's been kind of sitting for a little bit, yeah. maybe in the fridge. But I don't think it's old. It, it's just been sitting there for a while. Oh. Uh again. Kind of hesitant to eat it. Yeah, I'm gonna look through it. This one looks a lot better. So like... More so, of a redder piece, yeah? So you said, so nowadays you don't really go out to eat poke? No. Um, let's see. Well, I was telling you, so I went to Masa and Joyce. I mean, I had the poke over there. Yeah. Poke bowls over there. And how'd you like it? I loved it. But I love everything as a whole over there. It'd be hard for me to order poke nowadays too, like when my wife can just make them too. Yeah. How often do you eat poke at work? Every day? Every day. Yeah. More of a quality control thing, but like... Uh, so just take a bite here. Yeah. And it's easy for me to eat because otherwise I don't get to eat the whole day. Yeah. You know? yeah. But I still love poke. Like, and I eat fish every day. My friends told me like, they, I'll be, this is a true story. My friends, they, they said that I'll be tired of eating fish. First three months of business, it's been over four years now. I'm still pounding fish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then what? Like, so do you do you like to eat it sashimi style too, or just pretty much oh, poke? Any ways, kind of ways. way? Yeah, all kind of ways. And plus, like when I'm eating the poke too, it's like it allows me to like maybe um, inspire myself. Like you know, I just got to be tasting things constantly. But eating the fish at work is like a quality control kind of thing. Well, Let me try this. This one looks a bit more. I don't know. It almost looks like it could be marlin. Oh, never mind. It's red on. It's red on the bottom. It was white at the top. It feels like you got this off from the same place. <laughs> These are all different places. Yeah. It this is. one's not seasoned at all. It's one, like yeah, I don't know what the fuck that one is. Yeah. That one actually looks gross. Okay. It's all supermarket though. Okay, let's try this guy. So you went to six different supermarkets to grab six different limus? No, no, I went to uh, four different supermarkets and two of the supermarkets I grabbed two because I got, well, I threw out another twist into the mix. I got fresh and frozen. So also I want to see if you can find out which one is the frozen. The frozen was a lot cheaper. It's like, I think one place of frozen was like almost like one third the price. And here, just one of the frozen? Two, two, two of the ones in here are frozen. And the four is fresh. This one is supposed to be fresh. It looked it look like from the looks, these are the frozen ones already. Yeah. Just from the looks. Okay. I think you're correct. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Let me check my cheese. <laughs> well, I'll be I'll be honest. <laughs> when I tried it, I was like, oh, 
Frick is pretty good. <laughs> it's better than this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep, so th those two are frozen. So Just by the looks yeah, of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's good. But a lot of people don't realize, like, the fresh, like, I mean, well, uh, the the frozen one, they, they pump them with, like, the monoxide and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, it, it keeps its color, so that's one way to tell. Yeah, yeah. Also, for some reason, when I look at the markets, with the frozen ones, they always cut, I don't know if it's previously cut or what whatnot, but the frozen, the previously frozen ones are always nicer cut. Oh, you know, when you poke the, the, it, it should, yeah, it should be poked. But like the fresh ones, because maybe the guys don't care, and so there's a slab that they cut or inexperienced. But it comes out like you see more pieces. Like I don't know what, like you know, yeah. You I just I can pick up a bunch of like weird looking pieces. Look at that, like one snake. So it's like that's another way for me to tell. Then the taste doll is actually. I don't know. How they, it, it tastes it tastes better than this guy, season wise. Yeah. 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 Okay, pretty good, pretty good. But this is two different kind of moves from two different areas. Oh shit. Yeah. So mix that guy into your hair. <laughs> oh. oh, which one is this one? Oh, like what about the fucking, like this color though? It's been sitting. Yeah. Because if you toss some fresh, it wouldn't be like that. It's just sitting. And then, even without the sauce too, if it's like not drained per good, and sitting in the blood or sitting in something, it just turns colors. Wow. And I'm thinking the frozen ones, because they, do you think they just buy the frozen from somebody or do you think they freeze it themselves? Or do they buy it frozen? I've no, I don't know. I've, I've seen them like already cubed, like Sago Chef Son, I see them cubed up, already <laughs> frozen. So you can buy them like that. But maybe that, maybe that's how they get them. Mm. I've, I've seen my, um, my list from, from my sales guys, um, I've never actually ordered it. Oh. But just taste-wise, these taste better than these ones. Taste-wise, right? <laughs> well, well, does it? Was it too frozen? I know, but the, the season-wise, yeah. like, like I don't know. Salt goes a long way. And okay, this one is just the this, okay. It's the worst. Okay, yeah. where do you think this came from? Then this is let's just get this one out of the fucking way because this shit is just disgusting. It's, you said like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Like, why See? would you sell this fresh about. fucking poke? Mm -hmm. And then on the sign, like it says, um, locally made. So, cause I, I saw that one video going yeah. going by that like nowadays a lot of places they see locally made, cause but they're using like fucking fish from somewhere else. So it's not saying so it's right. not saying like local ahi, local fish. They just say locally made. Still, so, if you season them, it's better. So, it's so good. the sign here said locally made. So I'm, I'm thinking they might have fish might be from like it's not local fish, right? I don't know, this thing got so beaten up already. I wish you guys could try this through the camera, but it's just so beaten up, it's really hard to You guys tell. see this one? Yeah. The grayish one? All right, I wish you guys could just... Wear are, are, you, yeah. are you supposed to be um, like kind of studying as you eat, not just eating? <laughs> you just pound. You know? At some, at certain point, if you're like not trying to be super critical on it, I'm just going to be like, and then not to like discredit myself, I'll be like, fuck, I'd rather, I'd rather eat these guys than... I mean, I, I, out of the fresh, this one, I like this one. And then just my eyes are drawn to this because I just love Inamona. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't really take much for like, that's just my preference. I just, I, I would cover up something in Inamona and just a little Hawaiian salt and I would just be okay with it. Mm -hmm. But it, that's kind of what poke is too. It's very preference based now. Yeah, yeah. This is just seasoned better. And yeah, yeah. for some reason it never, I don't know the, 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 the chemical difference as to why like when the fresh poke sits in its sauces it turns like that but that's why i try to avoid when we serve poke it's i don't make to order make right? it to yeah. order that's what i think makes the yeah. biggest difference is, you, is yours you guys have you tried rice yet yeah you never try rice? try to avoid stuff like that because uh, then, then they they make it to order and to it's, me to me that makes a big fucking difference oh, huge yeah and that's why after that after trying your poke is like i don't even go and you eat in town anywhere really there's like, other places that do them too like where the morning catch morning catch um that's so only in downtown yeah okay okay i, I went there once i yeah, never yeah. tried i never but there's other places places that well that's also why me and my wife going to carpeton and all because uh, <laughs> and some people can't taste the difference and that's okay yeah, yeah some people yeah, do yeah. they're like ah oh, no i'd rather just grab them from foodland and then after like having the the previously frozen one i'm like but oh, this tastes better than 
<laughs> the fresh one. I, I don't know if you want to put that in there right now, but okay. but it's only because the fresh ones that they made, it just, you must have just like looked for like the ones that look, I don't know, bro. I don't know what you bought. Like, but also the fresh one doesn't mean they're using good quality too. No, it's right. like, it's like with every food too, right? So yeah. you've, you've had a lot of food and it's like about a balance of like ingredients and stuff and seasoning and things, you know? Yeah. It's going to create the whole dish. I mean, a little salt, there's can go a long way just for this guy. You know, there's yeah. things that you, just off the top of my head, I'm like, y'all add in these things. The worst thing is it's just been sitting. But well, I got it kind of early, so I don't think it was sitting that long, right? Maybe from the, maybe from yesterday. I don't know. I don't know how the markets were. I hope not. Yeah, I think it's every day. But okay, I also got you some chili pepper water. This is what I've been looking for. I'm so this I guy. think is the best chili pepper water I've ever had, right? Do you sip it? I like to sip it. Okay, okay. Well, it depends. Like, this guy looks so hearty. He looks like a meal. So yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Try, try, try sip it though. Let's see what's here. This fucker has some kick. Oh, I'm used to taking gulps. This one's a sipper, like a, a tiny <laughs> sipper. That's yeah, so right. I took a gulp. I'm like, yeah. That's what I'm used to. I used to just put a straw in it. But this is good, bro. Wow, this is super right? good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. That's what, real good. That's what even my friend that made this, I was like, I was like, fuck, I want to try and sell this shit. Because I think it's really fucking good. Well, yeah, this is good. You can tell just by when I was bringing it up, it just like, Ooh. the chili pepper has like an aroma. So like it, it gave it flavor already. There's like a, a flavor to these chili peppers. Yeah. It's like this one, you can tell it's already infused. Like look at the color on this thing. What a fuck is This burn. is good. How would you rate this compared yeah. to the other chili pepper waters you have? It's like a 10. Or like just like, oh, this is a fuck, 10. my mouth is burning now. Yeah, I'm gonna, gotta find, oh shit. We still, I'm gonna save this thing. I'm gonna yeah. take it home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a, I got a lot. I can oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is good stuff. I never go to like other restaurants and they have chili pepper water. There's like no flavor on that shit. So when I pour it on my food, put it on my lao lao or whatever, like, it doesn't do anything but make my food wet. You know? You want, this has flavor. This has a fucking like, That's the way it should be. Yeah. You know? For some of the other ones I've tried, there's, not, there's like nothing. You can just tell by the color too. Yeah. It just tastes like the color. And then when you buy them from the market, it tastes like, it tastes like the color, you know? So going into this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be good. So this is from um, our first friend, Ricky makes it. Mm -hmm. And he's a chef at Cutlery. So they serve it over there when you order like oysters and shit like that. This thing's good. And then whenever I do eat there, I always ask for extra chili pepper water. Can you just buy it over there? No, he doesn't sell it. But I told him I'm going to sell it. Uh, I'll sell it. This is a fresh one too. Yeah. Interesting. And the old goes a little bit older. Once the ogle starts getting older, see this ogle is fresh. If you like, try to look at this thing. This is fresh, but it's like nice and thick, crunchy, yeah. black. But I had some friends um, on their, I guess, uh, some reviews. They had a person that wasn't really, uh, um, never knew much about poke, or maybe they knew a lot. They eat. They said they're local and they've had a lot of poke, but they're so used to eating the limu like this, where it's all purple and more flimsy older that they thought in their head they grew up eating it like that where they're like this is old to them so oh. they're they're saying that it was so crappy because it was looking like this and i was just like ah, there must be a way to educate even locals because like i told you i never even ate fresh fish or anything until like later on you know when i could have had a little bit more more ability to like shed some more money for for grind food you know? yeah yeah I mean, I fuck, before I would just buy it or frozen because it's way cheaper. But that's now, why. But now, fuck, I like quality. Wh which one tastes better of all these guys, though? I think what tastes the best, but yeah. I like this one the best. Mm -hmm. But it might be because it ha it's a little bit more saucy. The limo. And with the onions, I feel like there's more flavor is this one. This one and this one, I don't know. The fish just looks fucking gross. It looks disturbing. Yeah. This one looks, this one looks pretty good. Yeah, it's more. Right. See how you eat with your eyes first too. Like it should look pretty. Yeah. 
But the flavor is bland on this one too. Both of these guys. These guys have a little bit more. Yeah. You're gonna tell me where you got them from? Yeah. So this one, I like this one the best. Mm -hmm. Which one you like the best? I can agree with this one, but still yet yeah, the seasoning. So if I were to put these like into like an honest like like just this, I don't know, seasoning just goes a long way, especially when the like they never. So they're using a fresh fish, but it's it's not a standout because it's been sitting there. It's been like in its own bloodbath, coagulating for I don't know how long. Oh, Maybe from yeah. from the day before that, where yeah. at this point it just neglects the fact that it was a fresh it was fresh you yeah. know, to begin with. I feel like fresh and frozen now. I feel like fuck. I can just buy the frozen and save a lot of money. From the markets, yeah. yeah. But, so some of my um, my friend's shops in town too, like, I mean, specialty poker shops, it wouldn't taste like this. And that's me being like, not biased. Like I, I just, I hope our locals don't, are not going to grab fresh fish over here. And like, ah, nah, just grab the frozen. Cause it shouldn't taste like this, you know? This is like, not to hate on food land and stuff, but this is like, like, uh, like what I was telling you, it's, it was easy. I'm already there. I grabbed me my Heineken. Maybe I gotta grab some green onions for dinner tonight. Oh, there's poke over there, fresh. That'll be the reason why I'll go there. This, not like on the track of poke, but this is, I'll travel out for this. Grab this thing, yeah. grab a gallon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so which one you thought was the worst? This guy. That guy? Easy. Yeah. Okay, and then second and third. It would be like boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that's what I'm for the freshes. Yeah, 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 yeah for the freshes. Like shit, right? And then like it'll be like these three for the half, you know. Yeah. What about you guys? Did you guys like try all and then which one you guys like don't like? Did you guys eat some? The food lamb one was good. You got the food lamb poke. That, that one was good. See, that's why they award winning, Tommy. See? Oh <laughs> shit! Wait. Okay, okay. But let's see. You got it from the Alamo one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fresh? That one is fresh. Oh, no. Well, you guys, you guys have four different ones or six different ones? Four. Okay, I got you guys only fresh ones, yeah. That, the, the full line was fresh. I don't know, some of them taste like uh, the... Safeway one. The Safeway one was the fucking gross one. Yeah. Bruh, was the, the Safeway one the most expensive one too? No, the Safeway one was actually the cheapest, but it was still oh, okay. $20 a pound. At least $21 a pound. You're paying for what it was, but like, I don't know, man. So this one, yeah. the one that we liked the best was Times. Okay, I like times, yeah. And then, you guys didn't like the times one? Th th oh, times, yeah. Is it this one here, the clear one? The one with the, like the chopped up onions. Um, time, no, no, no. The clear one, that's Sam's Club. Oh. The one that says Marukai Don Quixote. Oh, okay. The, oh, Sam's Club. Yeah. I never liked the Sam's Club. I've, I've never really gone to Safeway ever to grab poke. I've always went just to the Kunia times, because yeah. for one thing, it's easy for me to get back home. Time, times get some pretty good poke. Like, like they have like like some weird combination, not weird, but like unusual, like new, yeah. different combinations. You know what I go there for? What? The killer mussels. Oh, I don't know. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, my wife hates it, but I love that thing. I don't know. It's Is that the one with like furikake and shit like yeah, that? It's like a garlic white sauce thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she's just like, she likes more lighter, fresh kind of thing. And that thing is just, it's just something different where I'm like, I can have it with rice or whatnot if it's in my fridge. I can think of a poke too, like um, poke on the run or some shit like that. Oof. That has all kinds of shit, but yeah, their, their poke is actually okay. Mm. And then this one was the food line. Okay. So I mean, fuck, food line, to me, I don't know, I didn't really like the food line as much, yeah, but yeah. Safeway is automatic disqualification because that shit was just <laughs> fucking gross. And then the, this one was Sam's Club, which was one of the, well, actually I got, I mean, Okay. Uh, oh, this was so, Sam's Club? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Man. And that's $20 a pound as well, too. Wait, wait, wait. Sam's Club again. The Frozen is like $14 and $13 a pound for the Frozen. No. That's Why? interesting. Have you tried? Well, the, the spicy one at Sam's Club is pretty good, though. Yeah, no, I've, I've, in, you know what's also interesting is when you go there for sample the foods, it just yeah. tastes better. But I, like, I would never ever like, but if you got a sample, like if they gave you a sample with like this cube, 
with all the limu and green onion and shit on well top. just like the color of it like i don't know it's just i've never received a sample like that looks like like that you know yeah well that's just from my experience where it's the coloration on it is all beat up like before before netflix mm -hmm. how busy were you guys we we're pretty good me and my wife had a good start i think netflix the producers came how long were you open when they came? Yeah, before they came. It's got to be like six or eight months in. Oh, six, okay. Yeah. So that's when they first came. Yeah. But after our second month in business, that's when we started picking up real quick. Second month. Second month. Like, the first two months was, like, very tough, especially living in Hawaii. And then, like, my wife used to just, she wasn't ever scared, but, like, we are just getting by. Were you guys, like, questioning, like, no, that's one thing I, I appreciate about her is she wasn't ever questioning if we're going to This do idea. It. Yeah, she, like she, we just actually we're it was tough in that regards. But in like terms of happiness, we're we're so happy. Like it was finally like we had a rough start with all this other stuff. I, I wouldn't I don't want to really get into. But like after that was hope like put on the side and like it was just we got to concentrate on our business. We were more happy than anything and not really concentrating on the money. It was just how to build the business. So I, my whole focus was on how to build the business. So I started learning how to do social media. I was trying to reach out to all kinds of people. And then over time, I would say six months of doing that, uh, Netflix producers got wind from some foodies. That Island Bag. Island, Island Bag. And just uh, there was another chef that would come. She was like a traveling chef. Uh, Nikki, was, I think was her name. Um, but sh I never even knew. So all the customers, I was telling everybody, like every customer is so important um, because yeah. they could build your business because you don't know who they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't really, I'm not really on television that much. So there's like so much people that I, I never knew who they were, but everybody's so important. They kind of built my business by, by just me treating them like, like they could be everything for us. You don't know. And they, they eventually got us to somewhere because Netflix never aired until like second year or oh third. it took a while from filming to airing but me and my wife after the first year our business grew within that time frame and then yeah. i was like i was i'm like so the I, if i have to give myself some credit it's the it's the credit that i just want to keep on pressing to make my my life and my family's life better so after the first year we bought a, a second house that's all that's all fast the business grew so yeah. the second and th the, the, you're asking how busy it was. Our business was doing great off the first year. After Netflix, like m I thought we couldn't ever do more. But now Chili is able to do like four times over. <laughs> but fuck? that's why our hands are busting. Oh, okay. So you guys are fucking busting yeah. more ass. Every, every year, I'm like, we can't do faster. more. And then next thing you know, she, we're finding out ways just to do it better and faster. And I was even looking at pictures like of what the poke that we used to make. And then... I was like, oh, we got to get those pictures off. Like back then when we looked at the pictures, like even me just like taking pictures yeah. was, was not as great as I'm like still getting better at it, you know? So I got rid of videos, my video editing. Like I'm like, okay, I've definitely upgraded since then and all these small little things. But like, it's just, I'm, the point is I'm just always learning. Yeah. Even right now, I'll, I'll be like getting rid of some videos maybe 10 years from now. I'll be like, oh, I can't believe I wasn't doing things properly, you know, the, my video quality. But with the food, like our plating was everything too. So I, I wish I had some pictures to show you. <laughs> I got rid of them. But then like, like the recipes you start off with, a lot of them you still have now? Oh yeah, there's a lot of them are the same. A lot of them are the same. The, um, the, like, the, meth the method on how we do everything is the same. But like things that would change and modify would be like, okay, how are we building up the poke? Like, I always thought that poke is such a, um, it's a staple, it's a Hawaii staple item, but it never got celebrated. It's like people in Hawaii were like, it feels like we just have it in the deli stores. And even though it's like, it's spread around the world, it's known to be Hawaii thing. It's, it's not something, it, it's not proud enough where we're like, we should build it as a dish. So I told my wife, I was like, poke should be celebrated and should be like made with respect. So when we're giving it to even the locals, they're like, yeah, it's like a real entree. Instead of just some mass produced yeah. shit. It's like, boom, just boom. Boom. It's like there's boom. no there's no love it's in that. Boom, you know, yeah. it's like, oh yeah, this is our this is our best item. This, a cup of Simon and some spam musubi. And then I remember people like they'll be like, oh, is this what Hawaii's about? And like, 
I was like, no, like this is so much better than this, you know? We can do better. So even like when we're talking about what, what we're, we're changing, it's like, I'm always finding ways, like just looks wise, it's like, how do you build the poke bowl? You know, are, are we, we spread it out. No, I kind of want to make it, build it up. You know, I kind of learned in restaurants, you build it up, create some depth, you know, when you're garnishing, put some layers on it, then the taste, you know, there's so much things that can be thought of after, than scooping it and yeah, it tasting yeah, like this. Yeah. Small details and it, it, a lot of people can pick up on it. You know, that's why I think um, we're, doing, we're doing great in our business, but some people can't and that's okay. Cause I actually would agree that this is better tasting than this guy, but I don't know. It's, I, w I wish everybody could taste this and taste <laughs> this. It's like, it's well, all they gotta do is go to Safeway. Go to your fucking. But does it always come out like that? It doesn't always come out like that. I can't. Fuck, you know? I don't know. Fuck. Otherwise, no one will buy but then, it. But then that's why that Safeway was the one where the sign, it doesn't say local, nothing. It just says made locally. So I'm pretty sure that fucking, that video clip, did, did you see that video clip? Yeah. About be careful, know where you fish come I from and stuff like that? I reposted it, yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming that that video was kind of, might have been meant for somewhere like Safeway because I was looking at everything and I was like, what the fuck is this? And literally, there's only said locally made, locally made. It's like when they said like, um, made in Hawaii or something like that, but like, or yeah, you know, I've seen say, the video. but then like every, everything is from China yeah. and all they do is so one little thing and then oh they can say it's made in the u.s yeah when now. we post that that guy but like, like that even that that even goes to show you like a lot of people are also the person that's making the poke like the chef matters did to not you. give a fuck because yeah the chef matters yeah, like it yeah. could be good or bad like people can have the same recipe and they'll make it completely different yeah. that's even when like just all restaurants in general right. like that's why some place the food is good because the chef actually gives a fuck and the food sucks because the person doesn't give a fuck. But these, you know? I'll, I'll, I'll almost guarantee, I feel like the markets would have some system where they're telling the employees, you know, you have this much to put in, this much to put in. It's all, it should all be like a refined system. So Yeah, there should know. be like a little a standard quality. Different. Yeah, because you wouldn't serve that, but like it's yeah. seasoning is important. All those things are so important. And then it's preference. I mean, a lot of guys are like, oh, I don't want it that much salt and stuff, you know, or it's, it's hard to like, it's hard to get to everybody's uh, exact taste preference. But I, I tried our best to like, you know what was one of the hardest flavors for us to uh, balance out? Which one? Was the yuzu wasabi one. That's actually one of our best sellers for the, cause there's such strong flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, I'll, I'll give it to customers like, oh, this is, real strong give it to another person oh, it's, you can get more or like yeah. the wasabi taste yes. yeah 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 i think when i told you i i thought the wasabi wasn't it's, that strong you want it stronger yeah then yeah, i'll yeah, give it to yeah. her like oh it's too strong but wasabi is a little it's more of a how much you can handle kind of thing yeah so, you know? i feel like if if it says wasabi you want to feel that shit that's in, what i think in your nose nobody that doesn't like wasabi well, I mean, is gonna order wasabi I mean, poke yeah. <laughs> you know so yeah, that was yeah, my yeah. idea and then like, I think we finally got to a point where it's like, it's happy enough for everybody. And I can tell by just, if you have return customers that want, oh, you got the yuzu? I'm like, yeah, I got the yuzu. They're like, yeah, you need a pound of that guy. I'm like, okay, you get that guy. But even then, so a lot of people can't do yuzu or citrus poke because it will get the ahi is a much more delicate fish. Yeah. It'll cook it. It'll cook them, yeah. ponzu poke. So we can do it at our shop, but because you do it right then and there yeah. and they eat it right away. Well, they got to eat them. My, my friend, they, they took it home and they got all beat up. Yeah. But you can do it on salmon. Salmon's more tougher and stuff. You know, they can leave them in there. I think some of my friends, they have like a ponzu salmon and stuff like that. So oh, I see. it's a much more stronger fish. I think the, the first time I tried your Dries poke it. was actually our friends were visiting. Then I think I saw you on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So just before I know you, whatever. And then they're busy and they're like, oh, where's the good poke? And I was like, fuck, I saw this guy on Netflix. This shit looks good. <laughs> and I heard it's good. So they went and then they liked it. And then they brought me back some. Yeah. But then I'm eating it like two hours, three it's hours later. Huh? Yeah, but it was still <laughs> good though. Okay, good. But, I, but I could like see like, oh shit, okay. I get the flavors. Yeah. That's when like, I told my wife, fucking let's, let's go down and drive there for poke, you know? And then everybody's like, is it, oh, is it worth it driving there for poke? I'm like, yeah, it is. Because fuck, if you like to eat it, then it's fucking good. Long time ago, everybody used to drive North Shore for garlic shrimp, 
right? I just did that yesterday. But, but like, yeah, <laughs> but like, but like, when people do that, like, like that's not really questioned, right? Because yeah. everybody's like, oh, North Shore garlic shrimp, North Shore garlic shrimp. Yeah, that's not really like, oh, you guys are just eat garlic shrimp. Everybody does that. It's right? a thing to do. Like, but, but like, I'm just swapping one food out with another. Or you can get both. Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's, that's what we do. But you usually. don't, do you? Well, usually, <laughs> I just this, this will be like our first. <laughs> yeah, but if we do it, we might just share a plate or something. Where do you go? Giovanni's. Okay. I like, I think, yeah. well, I, never, I haven't been to that many. Okay, okay. Because when I do drive to North Shore, I'm afraid to try so new good. places that's going to suck. <laughs> You're <right>? afraid. <laughs> yeah, because what if it sucks and I don't want to waste my appetite on something yeah. that's shady if I drove one hour that's to true. get there, you know? You don't want to, you, you'll get hangry. I think if I do that I don't, without my wife, because then she's, she's, if I go with a friend, then okay, we can just throw it away, whatever, but she's not going to want to throw it away. Your wife. And she's going to be all oh, wasting. Key factor is like, the wife. Well, because she, she hates wasting. Right, so like me and you, same as well. I'll go there. My wife will know. I'll be like you, just like I, I'll be able to try new things without her. I think, yeah, you know? and then she's not gonna want me to like just keep trying all kinds of shit. Cause <laughs> a lot of times when we do go eat and we try all kinds of shit, and a lot of it sucks. And she's all like, "See, waste of money, you know, and stuff like then that." Then you'll get it. You'll get the heat. Like, see, you should just listen to me. I'm like, ah. <laughs> but usually, food, I'm, I'm always the right one though. But like, <laughs> like you know, like the last time I went to go um, visit you, yeah, we stopped by Seven Brothers. Okay. Right, that's right next to you guys, right? Uh, the burger shop. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. And then, did, did you see the video I posted with the burnt ass bread? No. Okay, I posted, it was a short video, like 10 seconds long, about like a burnt ass bread where the bread was burnt. Okay, that was from there? That was from there. See, like, that's the chef. Like, the sh you, if you can't serve, like, well, when, I, when we get food, it's because of my wife, she, there's no, almost no exception, you know? She serves about 200 to 300 orders. But she would like, there's things that we don't catch and would apologize. Yeah, already. there's like. But if we could see it, right, I wouldn't serve that yeah. kind of thing. And it's just a mistake, not on Seven Brothers, but on the chef. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Like, like say, like, there's a hair, right? That's a mistake, right? Yeah. But when the bread is obviously burnt, can't serve that, it. That's not a mistake. Yeah. That's, that's like, I don't give a fuck. You know, this is all obvious. Like, the, the cook did not care. They looked at you and so, me like, I'm going to give him a burnt bread. Well, <laughs> well sometimes I, I'm like, I'm just like, how the fuck does this happen to me? Well, you just know? look at the rice. The, the person's rice is like all mashed potato like. Yeah. It's like, it's just the workers, you know? Yeah, yeah. But there's like places like restaurants where like they really care and they, I don't know how they figure it out a way to get everybody like systematized and they do a good job. Like I... The rice is always cherry when I go like curry house. You go curry. Oh, house. Yeah, it's always yeah, cherry. Is good. But like, it's because they 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 found out a system. You know, they also know how to water the rice perfectly. They have the perfect equipment. They just found a good way to do it. Yeah. You know, and then some restaurants would get customers are like, "Wow, why are you serving rice all like mashed potato -y? And they just don't care. So those are the places my wife and me would definitely have some qualms with because my wife would be like I can't serve this kind of thing you know like she had, she fans the rice off like like Nobu style like every single batch we do about like 60 to 90 cups in one day you know that's a shitload of rice you gotta <laughs> fan <by. laughs> yeah. yeah more than that yeah the, the weekends has been killer for us bro do you guys ever have like a um, customer come and like complain say oh I don't like the poke no, but online, uh, I've had people like, when we were talking about this, I just was reading a review and they're like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a, um, I know poke so well, I'm a local, the food land po poke is much better. And then, um, you know, it's also cheaper and stuff. But like bef before, back in the days, that would hurt my feelings. Cause I know me and my wife were, what we're trying to do. And like, we're like, if you guys are gonna pay a premium because it's a premium thing, she's making everything. My wife got carpal tunnel now making everybody's poke, you know? But it, I, we believe it tastes better. But everybody's gonna have their opinion, just like you do, just like I do. And some people are just a little bit more vocal and that's okay. So it doesn't really hurt me because me and my wife are, it's, uh, we have much more positive f feedback yeah, than yeah, anything. Yeah. So I'm like, I mean, that's with everything. it's like, I'm almost yeah. expecting every single time, like so we're gonna have, to talk shit. yeah, there's, you almost gotta expect it as a business owner and be okay with it. But it, you also wanna take it with like a, a learning eye, like may, maybe one of the reviews, if they're a little bit more critical as to some things, um, then I'll learn from it. So like every single day, I'm like, okay, well, maybe the pricing is skewed, you know? So I'll look at other poke shops. Like, I don't think any other poke owner would go out and do as much research as I do for like pricing and stuff like that to where 
we're doing everything on the order, getting all these ingredients and stuff. Our whole day is just the poke restaurant. Cause I'll still do all that research. Foodland, the fresh price today was twenty nine dollars a pound at yeah. Foodland. We're five dollars more. Yeah, but fuck, like the quality I think is way different. And That's what we're hoping. And even like you know what I mean? Like I think, like you're buying like mass producer, right? It's like McDonald's, right? Foodland is like McDonald's, right? You know what I mean? As far as the quality, I think of the food and stuff. Well, I like the pickled garlic, but pickled garlic, I'm, they just buy them, so I mean, we sell them. And just, yeah, it comes out of a bag, right? I, yeah, it comes out of a bag, but yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. still one of my most favorite things to eat. Yeah, I think I saw it too. I think <laughs> uh, I saw the worker taking out the bag. Or, no. no, I think that was at Sam's Club. They probably all get the same one. And so, I right? like garlic taste inside chili pepper water too, uh -huh. on that note. You know what, you know what side I, I don't like that a lot of poke shops have? Uh, seaweed salad. Yeah, <laughs> that shit is fucking slimy and like, I'm like, I'm like, people actually think that the shops make it. Like, like oh, they have a good uh, seaweed salad. Is it locals that, that ask you that? Or no, like, like, no, like some people will talk about like a poke shop. Yeah, and we're like, oh yeah, they have a really good seaweed salad. And I'm like, that's the same shit that all the places have. It. it just comes out of a fucking bag. I would say most of the mainland they have them like that. So that that seaweed that's salad. Right. Yeah. Like nowadays, it's gotten so like sold in the mainland and there's such a, uh, the mainland is like we, Hawaii people look to the mainland to create trends. Yeah. So now we see that all the time and we're like, oh, maybe that's what we should have on our Poke Bowl too. I don't know. You, you, think, <laughs> you, don't, you think it started there first? I don't know, who knows, but uh, I don't, I, the reason why we don't put it on is just cause I don't, I don't prefer it. You know? yeah, yeah. I yeah. put just, and there's only a couple things I want to do and I want it to be homemade. So yeah. my wife and me would just do the, the pickles and because I like it with the pickles and I like it with the crab salad. And it's not like a like a um, like a cutting edge new thing. I actually liked it because I used to eat at a long time ago, I used to eat at Aloha Cones before I had a poke shop. I was like, yeah. this is a good combo. Aloha, and Aloha Cones was they just had a small portion of like, I like the pickles, you know, it's acidic. I can see how you can use the cleanser. And the crab side's a male thing, so you're eating it with like a shoyu thing, it complements it, you know. And cream. I like contrast, you know, and good food is good contrast. So this is a nice little mixture of foods. Yeah. The local one, you went when it was in Kinao or? No, the Kalihi, the Kalihi one, because oh, I used to work in Sand Island and, and then would look for a place to eat. And that was the first time I saw it. And then I was like, okay, well, this is a good combo, a good side to have. Yeah. But I used to eat poke like everywhere, from Nikos to everywhere. My my uh, business partner loved poke, so uh, back then, and then so he always want poke. I would be tired of poke because it's just too much, but that would just be what he's craving. So we ate a lot of poke, and that was when, I, when we were making our poke shop. I was like, we should be doing these two items, but we do it a lot different. Our crab salad, um, we've definitely. So that's one thing we changed over the years. The recipe changed. The crab side, we used to use like the, the previously, because I never knew where to buy them too. Yeah. And it's hard for make, but we found the easy process because I, it's just that the crab side is a process to make hours now, but it just tastes better than two hour preference nowadays. You said um, your business partner. Uh, his name Danny Tefera. But what, what, what is that, your business partner? What did uh, you do before? Construction. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, construction. So we did that for like, like two or three years. And then that's when... Is that the Bolohead Danny? Bolohead Danny. Oh, so, so, you guys <laughs> you guys, so you guys are business partners? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you knew that. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I work I, with him, but we're Sand Island. Oh, so like you was part of... what? what but you were the architect? No, so I was an architect before that. Well, it was my background in construction that ended up... We ended up starting something. Oh, I see. But he... So we're doing like uh, sales and uh, for roofing and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay. And he had a whole construction stuff that was going like he'll install everything too. So when he got a hold of me, he had a, already built up this this thing that he set up already. Yeah. So when when I got on, it was it was it was already a thing that was going. It wasn't oh. something that we started together. Okay. He already had it going. Okay, okay. So he was doing construction yeah. stuff before this. Yes. Uh, how'd you go? from that and then all of a sudden opening up your own poke shop i got i got burnt out were like, you doing both at one time or you just quit i was doing both he's doing both yeah that's part of like the, the was driving like, to north shore yeah so i was doing both and then like towards the ending when i was making my decision when i thought that's what i was like when, when it when it started it was really rough on our start and there's other people involved but i don't like talking so much bad stuff even if i don't even care for the people now you know but there were so much things that that was af afflicted to me and my family um, where I quit my job 
and things almost got taken away even though they knew that I quit my job. So I quit Danny thing and I was, I was still working the thing and they almost got stripped away from us too. Oh. And they knew it and, but there was, yeah, I was doing simultaneously, I got rid of it and we almost lost everything. But it was something that I was making a lot more money doing construction and yeah. doing something that I loved. I was like, my wife was okay with it. She kind of respected that, that my happiness was more and I told her we're not gonna live on the street, I'm gonna find a way and she always just trusted me. Like, so before you did that, did you make pokey a lot at home? And then like with your wife, like, oh, your pokey is amazing. You should have a shot. When, did that ever come out of her mouth or? When, when, it, so I'll make hit or miss pokey. Yeah. You know, like, uh, Cause I was always, I was always weird, weird about it. Uh, but when I was first trying to start up the shop, I made a bunch of things. And when the first thing that was in my head, like to start a uh, food shop, cause I always wanted to do food was pokey. Okay, you always wanted to, you always wanted to have a- Because uh, I was, I was, was, the concept was easy in my head. It was like, I, you don't have to cook and stuff, it was ease. And it was something I knew how to do wholeheartedly. Like I used to eat pokey all the time. So it was something easy I could whip up at home, you know? And, and I'm like, I could do this all the time. And my, my whole concept was making fresh like this. Yeah, okay, okay. So I, I, I would like to say we pioneered making it fresh because if people could look at the back end, I mean, I don't mind if people copy the idea because I don't think any good idea is not going to get copied. Yeah, there's yeah, going to be other people that are going to do it. So it was just it was something practical, something I could do within my own my own two hands with my wife, and it was it started from there. But the it, it, the idea jumped around a lot. You know, I wasn't even going to do churros. True. I wasn't even a baker, <laughs> so it was more. It was always in a poke realm, okay. and I've always made poke. I've even made pho poke before. Like poke that tastes like pho. So oh, my, okay, my head's yeah. all crazy with this stuff. Yeah, it's not yeah, something yeah. I'd sell, but it's something that's fun if people want to try. Scar and Yeah, like that, it was, right? I used like the old, the, you know, the, when you, you put the old broth inside the, the fridge, it turns like jello. jello. Yeah, I would, I would grab a scoop of that. And you know, it was some way to get rid of some ingredients at home. And I was like, when I had it, I was like, bro, this is pretty interesting. I don't know if I'd sell it, Yeah, yeah. but it's interesting, pho poke. Yeah. <laughs> So, so after that, then, so you, so, but how were you working a regular job and running your, your poke shop? I think I was working three jobs. But then your poke shop, like, is for all the way in North Shore. So during that time, it was like, it was like a mix between like four or five different hats I was wearing. Oh. So I went, quit with Danny and then, yeah. but during that time, I was starting up another company. I'll, this one I was starting, it was like a maintenance company with my other friend. Yeah. And then we had the pokey thing going to, it was like, and I was still sometimes going to the restaurant. I was working at um, Paisano's in Manoa. Okay. So. Wait, but, and, and where did you live at this time? Ever Beach. Oh, you was traveling the whole island then. My wife would travel more what the because, fuck? because if she was on call during, I don't know, during that time was she laid off or on, I forget. But when she was working in Waikiki, she would have to drop our son off in Kaniwe to my parents' house. Because okay. we don't trust, like, if, our, our parents should be watching the yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. We don't, too, we watch too much things on YouTube with the babysitters. And then she'll drive to Waikiki. After when she pow, she would go back, she'll do the Kaniwe and go back home too. So we were both driving choke. Holy shit. So it was a hectic time. So when people ask like, oh, you guys got so much driving to do. You guys live North Shore, Maki. I'm like, bruh. My whole life has been tough. Like, this is easy now. Oh, the I drive see. is, yeah, I've been through the worst of it. I've moved yeah. around 10 times, bro. Like, I've been broke. I've been in, in the bushes. It's been tough, you know? But now we're living the life and I get to drive an hour. It's like, whatever. <laughs> um, and then what? Since after Netflix, it's just been fucking amazing. It was amazing after the third month. After the third month? Uh, yeah. After the third month, it was amazing. Netflix came out. Um, I mean, they came like six or eight months in, yeah. but even when they came, it wasn't until like another six or eight months or something like that. I got to go back to my messages as to when they said, oh, you got chosen. Because during that time, I remember I, they kept on popping in for like interviews and stuff and they're interviewing and tasting poke from all the shops. In oh, the yeah, it wasn't just me. So like, I, oh, I don't know shit. if we got picked or whatnot. And I even told, I think I told them, I was like, I don't know, like, I don't have an interesting story. We don't have a lot of history in this thing. Um, <laughs> you just brand new. Yeah, it was, and I mean, maybe that worked for me too, because after we got picked, I was like, Netflix is such a huge platform, you know, like for, and especially representing poke in like a, uh, episode about Hawaii. Yeah. It was a huge impact for our business. 
even though it's like three minutes of B-roll with that regard. Yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah. the next day, there's only been a few people where advertisement comes out and I'll see initial impact. One is you, you put out like a video. Well, your first one, you know, like nowadays you mention me, it's like, oh, everybody know already, you know? Yeah. But like, like if it's a new guy, like Mean Hawaii, when he posted, that was, that was the first time I ever experienced like how strong social media is. Was that before or after Netflix? This is before Netflix. Oh, yeah, shit. so like that's when I started realizing like I could start doing this, you know? Yeah. To give you like a sales figure, I don't, I, I hate talking sales, especially in public, you know? But like it's the only way for you to really gauge it, yeah. you know? Because people are always gonna be asking why. And I'm just, I'll be transparent. Like me and my wife would probably sell like a hundred bucks a day after a sales cost of like the fish and stuff. Probably walking out with like 50 bucks after taxes, maybe 30 That's bucks. When you get first started. First, first start. But I just told my wife, like, it was almost something we never even thought of, like, until later. We're like, man, we were struggling because when you're going through it, we're very happy. We're very proud of the poke. We have a customer. We're just concentrating on the customer. It's like, yes, a person wants our poke, you know? Nobody wants to buy it from us, you know? But uh, after the second or third month, I think our sales was over a grand already. Okay, I did. You know? Yeah. And then after the first year, it was like, we're hitting like, at least it, it went up to two grand. And now we're, uh, it's just been getting, I, it was always as much as my wife can do. So a small little shop to, to grow that big in that time was, it was all relying on her. Yeah. Now she can produce a lot because each order is made individually. Yeah. So. But then, can you do the poke too? Yeah. Okay, but not as not as not as quick as, not as fast. Yeah, as be, and it's only like, it's only like, um, it's obvious because she does it all the time. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, I can make it, but she'll she'll tell me get out already because I'm too slow. You know, she'll, she'll just yeah, out. yeah, she's like, get out already. Yeah, you're way too slow in there, because she's like, uh, she can do everything not just fast, but she can do it, and it'll look appealing, like. You know, like to the eye, like how it looks like yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Seasoning has to be perfect and stuff. You can tell like how seasoning can really affect fresh fish. You have such, you have a nice product. If it's sitting in its blood, not seasoning well, you're just, you're, you get wagyu steak and you're killing it. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, even like, even like when I had to fold the shirts, like I was trying to fold it. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, like I just fold so ugly. Like it doesn't matter <laughs> like fucking how hard I try. It right. just looks fucking ugly. So I told my wife, you just fold it all and I just, I just pack it and stuff like that, but I don't know. It's just it was just so much easier for her, you know. It's but I've been quality make, product to too. make it look nicer yeah. and shit, you know. People, are, you're I couldn't do it. Hard earned money. You're like, I gotta make it nice for them. Yeah, 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 you know. So that's how we look at it too. It's like yeah, you gotta like gotta like give a fuck. And even then, some people would be like, oh, the shirts are too expensive. Well, you'll always have somebody, but if you believe in your product and stuff like wholeheartedly, and you're looking at it, you go then it'll be okay because you really believe in your product, you know? Yeah, so I, got, I got my juice shop coming up soon. Right. And I'm pretty confident in my juice. I gotta go, you should have so bought some like, juice over here. Oh fuck, I don't have no juice right now. <laughs> you should have just juice. No, but I, 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 bought, I bought this um, smaller machine. Like I have, my main machine is like, is like 30 grand, right? Okay. The smaller machine I bought is like five grand. And that shit got delayed too. That shit got like delayed like one month. So Is I was that like, "How much for those machines?" Yeah, I think a commercial one. It's, it's fucking huge. Oh, but the smaller one, I have a small one. It's probably like maybe like this, this big, whatever, this tall. But that one's like like got delayed. So I was like, if that shit comes early, yeah. then I might just make juice out of my house or just do like a pop up somewhere or some shit. But that thing got delayed like a month. So I was like, but even with that, was like I feel like. I'm so confident that my juice is good. Is juicing still popular? There's not really, because there's nowhere to buy it, that's why. Was there one that the... the I wanna. Was it, what about the one by the Chai's place, right? They, had the, they used to juice, right? Oh, that kind beer, of, that yeah. Juice thingy? Yeah, but nobody really went there for juice. I just so. seen them. I never ever tried yeah, it. Yeah, I think everybody just go around like a coffee shop or some shit okay. like that. But there's the, the one in Almohan is still alive. So that's pretty much the only place. What about the poke you're gonna do? You say you're gonna um, do poke in there too? Fuck, if there's room there, I'm gonna try to do poke in there. And you're if probably gonna room. do it like this kind of style, yeah? Fuck <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> fuck that. If I'm gonna do anything, but I'm gonna try to make it the fucking best, you know? See, like, they're able to sell it, I don't know how, but it's cause... Probably cause it's fucking EBT, that's why. I, I don't know, but it's like... It's fucking, you know, it's, it's $20 a pound. Yeah. They're able to shit. sell it because otherwise, if they weren't selling it, then they would get rid of it or, you know, unless they cancel it. So that's why it looks like that. I don't know. I, I mean, know. that shit is crazy. But I can sell. I can see why this was. How much was this per pound? 
Um, thirteen dollars. Oh, that's hella cheap. For, yeah. Yeah. But that's frozen. Yeah. Chemical inside, right? Everybody yeah. knows Foodland. They put the chemical inside, right? I don't know if it's it's uh, the the monoxide. I heard. Yeah, um, to keep the color, right? But maybe that's why I could tell immediately that there's more of a coloration kind of uh, disfigurement when I'm looking at the fish, and I knew that these were, even though these are more vibrant, yeah. it's because of its vibrancy, um, in the color that. I knew they, oh, something I was off already. Usually, I would this is more of an organic the, look, the even texture. though it's bust up. Yeah, and it's it does have a more or, or like a little more. Like, I should like it was frozen look. and then thawed and then fucking left out. I was gonna tell you earlier, my house mm. is like, like some people they tell you like, oh, why don't you just catch your own fish, right? Oh yeah, or some shit like that. I had this guy telling me like, or a couple people tell me, oh, why don't you just open your own restaurant? And I'm like. I don't want to open a restaurant. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's so easy like what to makes do. you think I want to open a fucking restaurant? So like, I fucking eat, you know? And they're like, oh, and there's other guys, um, and I did a Lala video. So we're like, oh, well, you think you can make a better Lala? I'm like, probably. Then why don't you open your own restaurant selling Lala? Like, what? I'm like, because I don't want to open a restaurant to sell Lala. It's like, what makes you think, like, fucking, it's going to be easier? Or even, like, to do a restaurant. Like, that guy was saying it in a condescending way. Right. A lot of people see it, like, like oh, man, should you open your restaurant? But I'm like, it's because you're opinionated, so they're like, why don't you do it? Because we want to taste what you can do. But you like, know? do they even have any idea of how much work it is to Look. fucking run a restaurant? Like, Whoa. some people think like it's so easy to just, oh, just open a restaurant, just, oh, you should just start your own business, you know, and stuff like that. And well, even- It's easy for them to say that. Yeah, right. exactly. And Irvin, I have friends, right? Like, say like, oh, I want to start a business doing this. And I'm like, oh, nah, I think that's a bad idea. They're like, why? They're like, oh, because then after I'm like, okay, go do it then. That's what happened. You know, to me. I was just like, when oh, I, someone's just like that to you. Well, you were saying about all the things, like the reason why we never started a poke in the beginning, the concept was because I trusted what people said. So, um, family and friends were like, poke, making poke? Like, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> that's why I went down to churros and oh. stuff. And then they got, <laughs> yeah, no, no. no but, but, because yeah. they, they, well, they probably said, like, oh, because everybody go food line already. Yeah, and I was making like it that. right next to Cuckoo Superette and stuff like that. But more oh. so, it was just that they just thought the area just the, the wasn't, uh, we weren't going to succeed in it or it just wasn't going to do well. Yeah. And that's when I realized after, um, during that year, that tough year, um, I mean, the second, third month, like I said, we took off real fast, but that's when I started gaining a little bit more confidence in my own judgment. And then nowadays, to this day, like when I would get like reviews and stuff, or like if it's a negative thing, I'll take it with a more like constructive eye than my feelings being hurt and be like, no, we're just gonna cancel Poke. Cause that's what I did. We uh, were like, that's a bad idea, yeah. no, we're done. But nowadays you gotta have a little bit more faith in your judgment. So I learned, that was a learning thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> But yeah, you make your own lala then. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, because, like, what? Well, like, because I don't want to. Like, what the fuck, you know? The butterfish like, inside. Yeah. You want the butterfish in there? With the pork. So this guy messaged me later, like, hey, man, I make some lala. You want to try it? Was it good? Bro, that was the f one of the best lalas I fucking had. Who was it? I don't know. It's just some guy that just makes it, like, for friends and family co workers. Fuck, bro. He had, like, one fat piece of short rib, had the pork belly. That's the, the homes, like how you're gonna make uh, it for yourself is yeah. how people should sell it. That's why I was like, oh, that shit is fucking good. And then, but I told him next time you make it, let me know, I'll buy it. But fuck, he lives Y and I. So I said, if he ever delivers to town, I'll buy some. Would things change if we were to start selling it? Maybe, you know? Like, remember, like, so I made, I made a video about eating spam with CBs today. Yeah. It tastes the best like that, when you, for, for me personally, when it's like that, you know? But when you, I remember you said you had a video about where you love spam musubi is the best. I just picked it up. It was it was because they made it fresh. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why it was the best. But well, it's so hard to do. Well, that's that too. But their sauce is the best. They just make it the best. <laughs> everything. I, I it's think, a yeah, accumulation yeah, yeah, of yeah. everything. It's a little bit of yeah. everything that makes it the best. But it's harder for do than Seven Eleven kind of yeah, spam yeah. So how, how long has it been so far? One hour. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I guess we should um, wrap it up. We never finished this up. <laughs> Fuck, I mean, okay, okay. What about out of the two Frozens? Which out of the two Frozens do you think is the best? I think I'm going to have a stomachache after this. I think this one. But, but did you guys even finish the Safeway one? No. 
He's spinnable. <laughs> both taste like red. Yeah. They both taste very similar. I can't even tell. Yeah. There wasn't much variation between them. I like this the best. And this. I never take a bite <laughs> of yeah. These are way better. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I felt good. Wait, you want, do you want some chili pepper water? Yeah, okay. I got choked that side. Yeah. Oh, I'll go, I'm gonna try to look for something. Or I'll just rinse this out and yeah. pour them in here. But I love chili pepper water. I mean, even the worst ones I still love. I just like to eat. Even you gave me one, remember? But I, think I like to use is, that one. I think this is the best one though. I still use yours, but I have so much chili pepper water at home. Like a lot of people give me. Yeah. yeah. Like my fridge is just stocked with chili pepper water. From I don't even people. know where, where I got them from. I just remember yours. I put you in a special corner of my fridge. Oh, I, <laughs> is that going to give you a long time ago? Long time ago. Yeah. Okay, it's still I, good. I think it might be this one then. Really? Maybe. It's, yeah, that I mean, if, it's not the same color, but the color sometimes runs out, you know, when it gets older. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, I mean, I, I really like that one too. Because yeah, I know we give you a sesame oil, right? Do we give you sesame oil? Sesame oil too, yeah. And if I give you chili pepper, then I think it's, it's from this guy. I still use it. That's, sesame oil is really good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like you should just make your own restaurant already. <laughs> that. <laughs> make chili pepper, you know. Like, no, but, well, the one thing I like about juice, right? So I'm going to be selling juice. Yeah is that I can make fucking 50 bottles at one time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can make 50 bottles at one time and fucking put it in the fridge and then not make everything one at a time, right? Like, it's hard. Like you can just make it in batches and shit like that, you know? I don't know. There's nobody, still no competition yet right now. So I think, I don't know. I, I think I'll do good. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll, I do good when I start my juice shop. Right down the street. We'll, I'll be over there. Right across the first the street, one. Yeah. <laughs> and even that, like when people wrote me like a bad review on Yelp, I'll like go on there and argue with them and shit you like that. You, lo you love doing that. I don't, but <laughs> if they sound stupid, like if they're like, like I had like a couple bad reviews and then like they, they totally make no fucking sense. So I would just go reply and just like, just like correct them. You know what I mean? Cause like back then when I first started, nobody really knew what it was, right? So spending like eight nine dollars for a juice yeah. was kind of unheard of back then. But it's cheap. In the now. beginning, yeah. yeah no. Now fucking smoothies are fucking nine ten dollars for a smoothie, and a smoothie has like twenty five percent of the ingredients that a juice has. Yeah. You know that shit's fucking crazy. So now I think it's more prices are gone up. People are okay with spending more money. So I think that. People are, and it's a lot more easier for people to get educated on products because of social media. Mm -hmm. So I think true. when they know that they're paying this for that, it's not bad. It's like, it's like Pokemon, right? It's like fucking $30 a pound. Mm -hmm. Like before when I go to a party, I'll buy like, oh, can I get one pound this, one pound that, one pound that? Mm. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, I cannot. Cause that's just way too but fucking expensive. If you're gonna go, like it depends on the party, yeah? Like if I was gonna go to a wine night party with all, like just choke people, and I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna, I'll probably go for this guy, you know, if I'm looking for the budget. But if I was gonna go to like, we're gonna have a much more intimate family with foodies and stuff. If we're gonna go fresh. I'm gonna pick it up like 30 minutes before kind of stuff, you know, like fresh, fresh. It depends. There's a, there's a market for all these things, I yeah, guess. Yeah. That's why they're selling, you know? I, yeah, yeah, I don't think you should buy fresh for parties. That's just too expensive. <laughs> That's why nowadays when you go parties, you know what people come with? Yeah. They come with the imitation crab and they come with the boiled peanuts. Oh, Cause that yeah. shit is cheap. This but uh, the bold Chinese style boiled peanuts is one winner. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if one thing comes out of this video is Safeway is fucking terrible. <laughs> or I mean, I, or, or I don't know. It might have just been my batch. You know, what I mean, yeah, like, it, it might have just been the be one I got. The Safeway looks like fucking shit right there. I get customers that actually like, like they shit. love the Safeway wasabi salmon poke. So I've never had it before, but that's that's how you know. Like I hear like my customers like, oh, I like to go Safeway and grab that because I'll talk to all the customers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I'll try that then. I'll well, try that. don't put me on blast, now, <laughs> but that's what they did. So every that's why I don't put them to like their word. Yeah. But like because they come Especially to us. Especially if they howly. Yeah. I, well, I don't know. Some sometimes those guys actually know the the most, and locals will hate me for it. But we had that conversation. I was like, bro, I've had so much like pilau, disrespectful like um, people on both sides. We're yeah, all yeah, just yeah. people. And like some of the worst reviews I had was people that, when you're talking about local. uneducated, it was local. They're talking about the Ogo being old when that was fresh. That was from a, not even my store, so it's not even biased. Yeah. But they were local, because I'll be looking at the Yelp review, like where are these guys from? You know, because that's interesting for me. Yeah. Enough for me to be able to, to talk about it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, 
and it's nothing bad. It, my my whole claim is that we all we all people, and we shouldn't be saying, oh, because I'm from Hawaii, I, I, it's old to me to have this kind of knowledge. No, like, it, your knowledge is earned based off of what you know. That's like a point of fact. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And if you don't know, then you don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's why some people think like I shouldn't be so critical about food because I'm not you a eat, chef. You eat a lot of food, but so you should yeah, know. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. I, I, I'm fucking. I put in the ten thousand fucking hours, you know, <laughs> of eating where I've, I've become an expert yeah. without having to go to culinary school and shit like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. But I guess that's it for the day. So. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> that was it. Then. Yeah, I mean, fuck. I don't want to go too long because it's okay, gonna, yeah, it's gonna yeah, be yeah. a fucking a lot more work to fucking yeah, edit. Yeah, yeah you know <laughs> like that. So I guess that's it. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming.